Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today I want to talk about Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. So if you like this content, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. You guys help helping out the channel, making this thing grow. So it gives me the opportunity and ability to bring this content to you so that so that you know what you're buying when you buy um ghosts um yeah when you when you buy games man so my first initial impressions i put that video out like this game is freaking awesome but but man it's got some annoying stuff in here that like so red you got red and antea um these guys are a couple they're banishers they go around they, they banish ghosts they you know like all of that is cool like the supernatural thing of banishers freaking awesome the gameplay is awesome the world is absolutely freaking beautiful i mean there's there's like there's like so much good going for this game that the the stupid stuff that they put in here like really like like really drags this game down and, and and it does like it drags it down a lot for me um at least for me anyways because i'm like i'm like watching this dude red that i'm like dude this guy's cool as freaking crap he's he's nice he's 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 like well-mannered stuff like that and he, and he and he seems like a freaking good dude that would do literally anything for you and then you got all these damn power women in this game, like literally talking down to him and stuff. And I'm like, really, really, this is how you're gonna like you're you're gonna ruin this game with this stupid crap that like it it's so dumb. And and like I mean I guess if it was maybe written better, um or or acted out better, may, maybe it wouldn't matter so much. But it is just so like in your face, like Hillary Clinton type crap. And I'm like, really. Really, you guys are going to ruin this game with this garbage. A freaking badass game. Five hours into it, man. I was five hours into it. And this, this shit starts popping up. And I'm like, really? I'm like, really? You're going to drag this game down with this? And then... Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be a modern game without 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 the... Uh, without the... Um, um, lgbtq stuff in there too so i mean of course you know all of this is over a gay couple so i mean it's like why wouldn't it be why wouldn't it be and and it's so annoying man i i'm so sick and tired of of getting pulled into this stuff like like really like really we're gonna go we're, we're gonna talk about the 1600s like this can we not have anything that's like because because all right let, let me let me tell you why this annoys me I am a pretty, pretty decent history buff. Um, I, I read a lot of history stuff. I do a lot of, um, I, I, I do a lot of like, <laughs> I do a lot of study of history. And, and when you, and when they bring this stuff into these games that I think are, are going to be like a certain way or, or they're gonna, you know, or, or they're gonna at least, you know, try to stick to like, a like kind of like a realistic tone because I I prefer that I prefer realistic slash you know sci-fi whatever you know I, I want the times to be like realistic type stuff um, and for the most part they were doing really good at that it was it was really freaking high quality content and then they throw this crap in there and I'm and I'm like why does this need to be there like why does it have to be like so over the top seriously i mean like we, we we can't just have you know i mean we we can't just have like a like a normal couple you know a dude that loves his girl and after what happens to her he he's like you know ha has a choice you know either try to bring her back or or freaking you know give her give her give her the um give her give her the ascension that she deserves like no it can't be a choice like that it has to have all this other garbage in there they, they completely ruins the story like like it does it ruins it doesn't necessarily ruin the story but it really drags it down it really drags it down like i'm sitting here and i'm playing through this and i'm like oh my gosh man 
like why why ruin this for for people like me that that, that are that are actually going to buy this game because the people that you want to reach don't nod the people that you want to reach with with a game like this they're not going to buy it they're not going to buy it they're never going to play it they are never going to see it you are selling this to a person like me that they're like yeah i i mean let, let's be honest like w when i see gay people i, I don't care like I, I don't care you know if if they're gay whatever go go be gay do whatever you want you know what I mean? I don't try to throw my straightness in everybody's face. I mean, you can take one look at me and you're like, yeah, dude, straight, clearly. You know what I mean? I got a wife. I got kids. You know, I, I, I exhibit, you know, like like actual manly freaking behavior. So, I mean, yeah, like you can look at me and, and probably not get confused if I'm if I'm if I'm a straight man or not. And, and that's OK. Like, I, I don't try to throw that in your face. You know, I, I get it. You guys want to make a statement. Well, I'm sick of these statements, period. Like, I'm, I'm sick of supporting this kind of stuff with my money. Like, I am. I don't want to have to get out of Bud Light every time I want to play a damn video game. I mean, I, I get that video games take a while to make. I get that there's probably in, in development when you guys were raging about Donald Trump being president and, and everything else that you guys rage about. You can't just be normal freaking people. You have to drag this shit out into the public and make it as known as possible. They're like, yeah, man, we like we're, we're, we're sick of it. We're sick. Like regular people are literally sick of this stuff. Like I'm, I'm, I am, I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it ruining every freaking experience that's put into. It just ruins it. And, and I wish you guys would understand that. I mean, it might not ruin it to you. You guys might be like, yeah, man, that's the way women should be. And well, seriously, man, if all the men would just move to an island, what would you guys do then? Who the hell's going to pave your potholes? Who the hell's going to do all of all the rest of the stuff that you guys would need? Who's going to clean your sewers? Who's going to keep your lights on? Who's going to do all of that stuff? Who's going to freaking climb the power lines and make sure they're serviced? Who's going to do all that stuff for you? Seriously, if you think men are so evil and we're so bad, like who's going to do all that stuff for you? Who's going to pump the oil out of the ground so you can drive your car? Who's going to run the freaking meat factory so that you can feed your family? Who's going to who's going to get out there and pick all of like seriously, if you guys think men are so freaking bad that you got to that you got to like discredit cuz you know what? Real men like me, we take offense to that. Real men that actually go to work and take care of their family and are good to their kids and, they, and, and they're there for their kids and they love their wives and they treat their wives good. We take offense to that. It gets annoying. Like, real bad. And, you, you you know, that's why it annoys me because I'm so sick and tired of this stuff, man. Yeah, there's clearly freaking bad men out there. But then there's good men like me that stand up to those men for people like you. There's men like me that if I saw a gay person getting, I would jump right in and make sure that didn't happen. I I love all human beings equally. But I mean, come on, man. Come on. This right here is just annoying. It, it's it's annoying. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. I just want a regular freaking video game that doesn't have politics strewn throughout it so that you guys can make some point like we hear enough of it we see the parades we see everything like we hear enough of it like we we know you exist and we do our best to keep you safe too like we do i mean i get that like a hundred or or like <laughs> like 50 years ago 40 years ago things probably weren't that good you know because they're like let's let's face it like all the old people man they kind of suck man they 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 were really they're really brutal but i grew up in 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 the in the freaking 90s in the 80s in the, in 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 the 2000s i'm not i'm not like tone deaf to this stuff but i mean come on man like there's 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 got to be a point where where you're actually building something because you want to build it or you're building something to make a message and i really do think that you guys should start warning people if that if that's the message that you want to put out there let's let's see how many of the people that you make this stuff for actually buy it I, I don't like feeling, I don't like feeling lied to, not, not necessarily lied to. I don't like feeling deceived. I, I mean, like I get that, like you might feel like that's happened to you before or whatever. 
I'm, I'm, a, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to feel deceived. I don't want to be led to believe that I'm buying something and then get a bait and switch. I don't like that. And, and I know that a lot of other people don't like that. And, and, and it is getting, it is getting pretty ridiculous. If, if you ask me, like it's, it's almost in every single game now. And I mean, seriously, the only ones that's not in a racing game, seriously, I might, I might just quit playing these games, man. Like I, I might just quit playing these seriously. Like, what's the point? What good does it actually do me to, to, to purchase this stuff and, and be annoyed by it? Like, I don't want to be annoyed by your game. I want to be able to play your freaking game and enjoy it. I, I want to be able to enjoy it. I want to be like, yeah, dude, that was a freaking awesome game. And now I'm torn. Now I'm torn between do I finish playing this game or do I, or do I just move on and, and go back to and, and go back to Skull and Bones or one of the other games that, that are coming out? Should I go buy the Tomb Raider freaking trilogy and, and, and just play through that? Like, seriously, like I'm mad. I'm, I'm a little mad. I'm, I'm, I'm irritated mostly because this stuff just kind of drags down the story. I, I, I get I get. Oh, my gosh. That's that's the thing I'm the maddest about. I'm mad because this is dragging down my story. Like I, 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 I support, <laughs> I support the LGBTQ people. Like I do, like I, I want them to be happy and I want them to feel safe and I want them to be able to be fine in life. Like I support women. Like I, I protect my women. I got my daughters and my wife. I have, <laughs> hell yeah, I protect them and I try to keep them safe. And yeah, of course I don't want some dude to be taking advantage of them. But, but I also know that like, Women have an integral part in, in life that, that are just as, in, in my opinion, are, are, are just as equal to men because there are things that women can do that men can't do. Why would you, why would you want women to, to try to assume the role of a male? Like that, that doesn't make any sense to me. We, we are pretty equal, but there's like things that women can't do that. I mean, there's things that women can do that men, that men can't do. So like, like I get that. What, whatever, whatever nonsense that you guys are trying to prove with this stuff, it, it, it ruined this game for me. It, it really did ruin this game for me. Um, I'm not gonna call it woke because that's kind of stupid, and I think that that gets that, that gets thrown away, uh, around too much. But I think it's, I think it's misplaced politics, and and that's what I feel like it is. It is misplaced. It does not belong in uh, Banishers: Ghosts of New Eden. This this should this shouldn't have this kind of stuff in it like it, it 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 ruins the story and it ruined the story for me i know it's going to ruin the story for other people so the least i can do is at least warn people and let people know that like yeah man this game um after after about four hours it starts to come on pretty thickly and and and, and it's been that way ever since we get to that freaking town when we get to that little well just before we get to that you know i I don't know about the first two dudes, uh, the the first the the first ghost haunting thing, man. I don't know if those guys were gay or what, but I, it didn't seem like they were gay. I mean, I I didn't I didn't even question that. I was like, all right, these dudes are just out here. They're 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 like, they're they're friends. They're they're keeping. You you know what I mean? Like I didn't even think I didn't even put too much thought in there. But then the whole freaking going against Red, and talking down to him and treating him like he's useless or he's worthless or. Or some, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it it it's starting it's starting to get annoying because it's like seriously, man. If this if if women think that that dudes like that would get treated like that, they, I mean seriously, like come on, really, really? Do you really? Do you, I mean, really? I mean, that's that's a one way track to loneliness, and that sucks, man. That sucks. So, all right, man. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. You're definitely going to need a few Bud Lights if you if you want to play through this game. Um, yeah, it it's I'm not going to call it woke, but it is it is pretty annoying. Like it is annoying. I'm not going to lie. I've, I I quit playing it tonight. I had plans to stay up all night and play this game, but yeah, dude, I just I'm I, I might try again tomorrow. Um, if 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 it's still like that and and it keeps going and going and going, I'm just gonna quit playing it. Like I'm I'm gonna quit playing it and move on to something else that that isn't gonna that isn't gonna annoy me because that's the that's the biggest thing. It's annoying. It ruined the story for me. Like I was I was I was like yeah I was gung ho. I was recommending this game to everybody, but I can't do that now. Like I have to warn everybody now. Now I have to warn people and tell them, look, man, 
This game is either, this game is probably going to annoy you. This game is probably going to annoy you because you're going to you're going to you're going to love red. You're going to love Antia. And then you're going to get to the point where yeah, dude, it just starts getting stupid. Like I I'm like I'm like really? Like why would they why would they even put that in there? Why did they make a character as cool as red? And then and then ah, oh, that's so annoying. So annoying, man. So all right, man. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Enjoy your game if this is something that you're going to buy. So, all right, bye.